What's good you guys? I go by the name of Masharam Slali and I'm back again with another amazing video. In today's video, we are going to talk about something a little bit sweet, something that I spoke on in my first video but I didn't actually come back to it. So this is that time of the year it is july and schools well because of covid obviously things are stopped guys don't mind my my hair is fluffy and i tried everything like i tried everything i can try all my best like So yeah, it's July and I figured that it's time to kind of like speak on um, school because some people have already started applying for school, for university um, already and yeah. So um, let me give you guys an update, like a school update. Okay, cool. The last time we spoke was on the second of March, right? And I had not been in school already. I was not admitted at school yet, but I had already applied. I am in Stadio, formerly known as Southern Business School, abbreviated in SBS, I think. I don't know what to call again. Whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, SBS. So, yeah. So basically, studio is like a collective, like a collection of schools, right? That like are now one thing, like your afters, but like not fully after, but like so and after is under the group. Um, your so SPS, your Embry, your prestigious academy, your your there's a list of a list of. Of that school, um, just a whole bunch like they're under one thing now called Studio Multiversary or Studio Higher Education. So, yes, I am doing, I'm in the school of law, but I am doing a, a legal study, yes. And okay, let me break it down. I am doing a higher certificate in paralegal studies and this is my reason yes the reason why i could have done like a bachelor bachelor of arts bachelor of arts in law right but i didn't know what, what was going to happen with me next year so i was just like you know let me take a one-year course so that i can figure out what's happening with me this year and yeah I've always said that this year is a challenge area year. See what I like and see what I don't like and whatnot and figure out basically um in my twenties, in the beginning of my twenties, what I'm gonna do. Um yeah, so I took that one year course and yeah, it pretty went well and it's uh, I took the online schooling correspondence, online learning distance learning whatever you call it yes i'm doing that and so far so good hey because like i haven't like i haven't faced any challenge except type management so guys now there's visitors in the house so if you hear any thing just know there's visitors so they came at the wrong time, and I don't have any other time to shoot this. If I don't shoot this today, I'll never shoot it, okay? okay. And Ekaya allowed, so. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, um, I, I'm doing that. Um, it's the end of the semester. I'm still waiting for my results. I've, it's basically, like, the only assessment that we do, like, for marks it's just assignments and the exam that's it and i don't have little tests in between nothing of that sort so yeah so what else 
so in my whole course so um, in my whole course or program I have five modules to myself um, three compulsory and two elective right so in the elective modules I chose business law and civil litigation right so this is basically criminal procedure and business law like com- commerce like you know what you do you know you know business like business like it's the business it's like the law side of business studies yeah because we're doing contracts or whatever so standard subject okay um i could say my hardest like the one that i'm more difficult difficulty the one that i struggle with the most not struggle per se but like the one that troubled me in my exam is civil litigation don't know why well i know why well i don't know why because it was an open book exam so it's just like and also in our open book open books they are not necessarily like the obvious things like you really need to apply like it's about application if you can't apply it to a certain rule or law it's wrong and you need to get it right okay so that's how that's dif- that's difficult on its own like application other than recalling and memorization and them seeing what you know know they want to see how you're going to act in the situation that's those are our exams okay in our assignments not bad so far so good okay cool um another thing i want to speak on is that i really struggled in finding my purpose like online and distance distance learning is really hard if you don't have any sort of activity or like something you're dedicated to besides it like for example people who who are doing distance learning are either working or like their moms or whatever like they have something going on in their lives other than me i literally don't have anything going on like any sort of serious thing like like i have to wake up in the morning like like, it's not even serious like with youtube it's not that intense that i find and you know with instagram is not that intense yet but like so far it's just waiting for my assignments and my exams i didn't pretty much do a lot so yeah yeah that's that and other than that right now i did try applying to public universities you know um i've sort of like understood and learned a lot from this and i'm happy i'm happy so far so good um would i recommend it to someone else definitely if you have something going on with yourself like within or if you have something going on if you're doing something that you're dedicated to like for like for example a job um project if you're volunteering somewhere you know those type of things i do recommend it because it's like there's no pressure with it the only pressure comes when the exams comes or like the day of the assignments or prior to those two important dates So yeah, and then I'm waiting for my semester results so that I can see what's going to happen second semester. I think I'm automatically registered, but I just need to pay registration fee. But I don't want to do that because I don't know what's going to happen. But anyways, I am still going to carry on with it. So let me just do it. So yeah, that's just left for school. And because of these lockdowns and everything, I've pretty much been in the house like all day, every day, just chilling, putting makeup on, reshooting and shooting videos, and yeah. So, 
yeah that's just pretty much that for school and yeah i applied for universities for next year one university has already rejected me but they rejected me based on my results i don't know i think i, I think i'm smart while doing these things because i immediately applied for like a bachelor like a llb i'm crazy in the head i don't know what's wrong with me but yeah um i've applied at other universities and i'm just kind of waiting for the responses and we'll see because i do it's either i want to further my studies or like Um, I don't mind anything, honestly, but like, I just feel like I want to do what I want, like, film and production is like, literally, like, my heart and soul, and no one understands, but yeah, okay, steady tune, okay, so, um, my advice to everyone who's applying, Like, I really don't have much because, like, I spoke on these things in my previous video. So, I don't, whatever that I want to advise people on is what I said in the previous video. Like, really, um, you're on your own, honestly. Um, don't pressure yourself, take time, learn, and, and, and understand that. Um, don't let anyone else pressure you, honestly. Like and you pressure your own yourself. The more like don't even pressure yourself, motivate yourself, push yourself. So yeah. If you have reached this far, you are a legend. I love you so very, 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 very much. And I would love to see you in my next video. Me signing out. Bye.